I first fell in love with the Douglas fir tree after reading about them in Suzanne Simard's amazing book, Finding the Mother Tree. Simard studied how the trees of the forest are connected by what she describes as a thick knitted tablecloth underneath the forest floor, which allows the trees to relay messages back and forth, to communicate with each other about predators. They send warning signals, recognition messages, and safety dispatches as quickly as telephone calls. And they also share food and water. The trees send resources to the trees that most need them, and they help one another through distress and sickness. The biggest, oldest trees these great big linchpin mother trees nurture many young saplings. So the forest is connected by this incredible fungal network of nourishment, communication, protection, and sentience, which supports the flourishing of the entire forest. It's one for all and all for one. The Douglas Fir is all about our local community, the community around us of diverse people that might have very, very different opinions and worldviews to us, but how we can start to create those connections and learn from each other and create a sense of belonging where we live. The Douglas Fir teaches us about becoming more tightly knit, that our communities can work as a unified whole. Through creative, cooperative, interdependent and co-evolving local hubs, which are all connected to each other, we will be able to thrive. There's not going to be enough to go around, so we will need to learn to share and come home to the beauty of belonging, the beauty of being part of a thriving ecosystem. The Douglas fir really is our teacher here, because most importantly, we have to come home to cooperation after being in the wasteland of competition for so long. And this won't just have the potential of changing the situation of our planet, but it will also bring us so much joy.